In this lesson, we're going to have a look at a cool swampy slide groove in open D tuning. And there's quite a lot to cover here, so we're just going to dive right into it and uh, I'll come back and we'll start talking about it right after you hear the piece. This is where we're going. So there you have it. This is the piece that we're going to study today. This is where we're going. First thing you got to know, we're in open D tuning. And I've got a lesson already introducing you to open D tuning. So if you're not up to par with uh, the tuning, don't know what's going on, then definitely check out that, that lesson that will give you the tuning and then a couple of cool things about how to move around in open D tuning. What we're going to do is break down this piece phrase by phrase really. So the first part, we're starting out on the one beat and we're gonna slide back from the first string third fret to the second and then open. So I'm gonna pinch just to let that bass ring out. Now, there's something that I wanna point out right here before we get too far, and that is in a lot of acoustic blues lessons that you find here on Blues Guitar Institute, you're gonna see that thumping, that driving kinda of keeping you going. We're intentionally letting the bass fall away here. It lets this part kinda of breathe, so there's that. But then also, it's gonna test your timekeeping skills. So what you don't see is my foot is tapping out a four count here to help me kind of stay connected to the beat to the groove and it's definitely going in my head so what we're going to do on beat one is this little move then on the second string we're hitting the second string open sliding up from the second to the third fret and then hitting the open first string Now here we do things a little bit different. So we've got that same little part on the first string, but we're gonna hit the second fret first before we kind of snuck into the second fret like this. What we're gonna do here is just go and then slide up to the fifth fret on the second string. Now we gotta point out that's a D note, the same exact D note that you hear here with the open first string and open D tuning, but it sounds really cool to slide into it. Just gives it a little bit of a different approach and a little bit of a different sound. There we go. So we're sliding into that. All right, and then what we're gonna do is go back to this little main line. And then we start getting ourselves ready for the four chord by doing this. So that's sliding up on the second string. And I'm sliding up from the second fret to the third. And then hitting it a few times and then back down and then off to the open, followed by on the fourth string sliding from the third to the second, and then plucking the open string. All right, so that first little part that's happening over the one chord over our D is this. Then we're going to move into the four chord, which is here on the fifth fret. We're going to slide into it with the slide and do this little move. So we're sliding in. So once we get to the chord, hit the first string, which is under the slide at the fifth fret. Then we do this sort of, it's almost like a chicken picking thing where I'm gonna hit the thumb on the third string, but you're not really gonna hear that note. It's just muted out. I'm doing that mostly with my palm here so that you're not hearing that third string with the thumb. And then I'm hitting 
the uh, first string fifth fret there. All right. And then I'm doing it again with the thumb and then going back to the third fret first string. Coming back to the fifth fret second string. So without the talking, here's what's happening here. We slide back into the chord and then do this little move which is basically got that same sort of quasi chicken picking deal happening we're gonna end with a couple of open strings the first and then the third and then slide up on the fourth string from the second to the third like that But right here, this is the top of the fifth measure. So we're gonna go back to our one chord, our D, and we're gonna play this main line. So this can be a little bit tricky because if we're sliding, we're gonna slide up from that second fret. And you, you kind of naturally wanna to go to the open strings here, but we've gotta start that main lick over again. So what we've gotta do is slide and kind of with that swampy vibe, let it drip with that swamp bayou sand, and then sort of move yourself down. That's what I'm doing here. I'm sort of thinking about the fifth string and the fourth string here as I'm sliding up there uh, from the second to the third. But then I shift and watch my slide. You see how it kind of dropped down to the first string? I really just want to focus on that first string as I'm moving back into my main lick here. So from our four chord. All right, so here how I'm really, again, I'm thinking fifth, fourth, and maybe a little bit of the third string. shift my attack to just the first string. All right. All right. And then we repeat that bit, right? And then we've got to move to our five chord. And here what we're going to do is just a couple of strums after we hit here. Just a little down up is a cool way to add some um, some rhythm into this and we're gonna really make a statement that we're hitting that all-important five chord all right this is one of the coolest parts of this so far so we're sliding in and I'm really hearing the fourth third and second string as I slide in there then plucking on the offbeat there, plucking that first string. Slide up on the second string to our 10th fret. Do a little back and forth there, sliding up to the D on the 12th fret, first string. This is my 12th fret here where the body is joining. I don't have a marker there, but this is where the body is coming together with the neck. That's my 12th fret here on this particular guitar. All right, so we're sliding in. Pretty cool. And then we've got to go back to our four chord. So we're really going to work through some licks that we've already covered. So we're sliding in. Just like before. All right, so we get to that four chord with a little down up brush stroke. And then here we're at the final bar, and this to me is the coolest part of this whole thing. We're going to set ourselves up with that main idea, that main lick. But then we're going up here to the 12th fret, and we're going to pull off this little lick. I'll set it up with our main lick.
All right, so there's a lot happening here, and the movement is a lot quicker than the bits and pieces of this piece earlier. So what we're doing is very quickly moving up to the 12th fret. When that string is ringing, that first string, move your hand and get into position around the 12th fret. And what you're gonna do is slide back on the 12th fret. And you're generally kind of targeting the 10th fret on the first string, but you're not gonna make it there. We're, we're gonna put some of those microtonal elements to work here that you can really do with a slide. So we're gonna pull down from the 12th. And honestly, we're not even getting close to the 10th fret. You can't really see that, but I'm probably in the middle of the 11th here, all right? And once I'm there, I'm not gonna strike that first string again. We strike it just once. Then we're gonna to move to the second string, same spot of that middle area of the 11th fret and come up to the 12th fret. There. All right. So that's the move. And you'll wanna make sure that you're muting out the strings that you're not playing. Look at how my thumb and my palm really are kind of laid across the strings here. And I'm plucking with my thumb and my index finger and my thumb's resting on this second string until I need it. And um, whenever I'm not playing the first string, my index finger's going down to mute that out. It's just all about clean slide playing and just hearing the note that you wanna hear. And we're going to move down here to the eighth fret of the second string. That's the minor third of E here. So that sounds really cool, really bluesy, and it's a cool little way to start walking ourselves back down um, to this part of the neck. So here we go again. And with that in mind, we're, our next part is pulling off with the slide, this is a cool thing. So we're gonna pull off from the fifth fret of the second string to the open. Then we're gonna do this slide into the third fret. So we're starting just flat of the third fret note and sliding up and then hitting the open first string. So. All right, so let's cover that last little sequence of the note. That, what that is, is sliding down from the fifth row toward the third. Again, we're doing some of that microtonal stuff to really give it that bluesy vibe. I'm not getting all the way to the third fret, but pretty close. And then I'm sliding up on the second string from that same spot to the fifth fret of the second string. But here's the trickiest part, perhaps, of the whole lick. And that is that once I'm sliding on that second string toward my D note here, fifth fret, second string, I'm doing it with my slide angled in. And so what I'm doing is I'm setting myself up to hit this open first string. It just adds a little subtlety to the end of this lick because this is gonna ring in unison. And also, this could be a very telling point to make sure that you're getting that D nice and in tune on the fifth fret with the slide fifth fret of the second string. You should be able to hear one note ringing against itself there, that D note. So that takes a little bit of technique to get down. And now I am wearing a slide that's got this you know, rounded over end on it. You can do it with another slide. You absolutely can. You're just gonna want to play with the leading edge of the slide. This thing definitely helps having that, that round over, um, you know, bit and it helps to get a smoother sound here, but you can certainly do it with, um, with other types of slides. So, all right, so let's take a look at that last little lick. All right, so now we've got the bits and pieces, and I know we went kind of fast through all of that, but if you're a premium member, you can check out the tab on the lesson page for this particular Tuesday Blues lesson, and you'll be able to go through and make sure that you can work through this at your own pace. You can download that 
loop the guitar pro if you happen to have that software good stuff but what we're doing is um, really bringing together a lot of the skills that we've been talking about here on Tuesday Blues and then especially in the slide guitar essentials course in the premium library we talk about how to get a good clean slide sound and you know how to really pull off some of these techniques so if you haven't checked out that course then definitely do so but um, why don't we put everything back together right now so let's play through this um, on the slow side make sure that you can you know keep your groove going keep your beat happening here so I encourage you especially since we're not using the thumb as a timekeeper here in this piece use your foot use your head you know bob your head tap your foot and let's get into it That's it for this lesson. Again, if you're a premium member, then check out the tab. You can have the PDF or the Guitar Pro software version of this to download. You just have to have that Guitar Pro software installed on your computer in order to get that going. It's a cool tool and it will really help you slow this down and learn this at your own pace. Now, if you're new to BGI, then I hope you dig this lesson. If so, give me a thumbs up and consider hitting the subscribe button. And then also check out the Slide Guitar Essentials class that I've got. It's a full course course and we really cover a lot of the fundamentals of good slide technique that you'll need in order to pull off a piece like this. All right, that's it for this lesson. Hope you dig it. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Hit the subscribe button and I'll see you here next week. Until then, practice smart and play on.